Consolidated Treatment Systems Incorporated. As a leader in the on-site wastewater treatment market for over 30 years now, our technologies and our services have helped to set the standards in providing quality residential and commercial wastewater treatment systems. Headquartered in Franklin, Ohio, our company has systems installed throughout North America and abroad. These systems are all based upon refined engineering principles developed in accordance with regulatory guidelines. Our units are also designed to fit almost any unique or specialized installation. Niatic systems are the perfect alternative for providing cost-effective solutions to the issue of wastewater treatment. We'll examine the need for the Niatic system and see why this technology is the preferred alternative for managing environmentally friendly on-site wastewater treatment. Homeowners and business owners are increasingly aware of the impact they have on the environment. They have come to recognize our responsibilities for providing ecologically sound wastewater treatment. Niatic meets this need. Public health regulations are continually updated and increasingly strict. The quality of affluent is monitored to determine the effectiveness of on-site systems. Rules and regulations are developed to require the use of proven technologies for various conditions. Niatic systems have been produced and installed for over 30 years using engineered technologies that require minimal maintenance. Because of their efficient design, Niatic systems have been certified under ANSI NSF Standard 40 as a Class 1 system, demonstrating a consistent treatment efficiency of more than 95% removal of wastewater contaminants. The Niatic system is designed to take advantage of an aerobic treatment process. By adding oxygen in the wastewater treatment process, the entire system becomes more efficient, creating a shorter treatment cycle and clean affluent. Niatic systems consist of two treatment chambers in a single tank. The center aeration chamber is a circular tank with a sloped open bottom that empties into the bottom of the outer chamber. This is the clarifier chamber. Located in the center of the aeration chamber is a draft tube, which extends to the bottom of the clarifier. Air is released at the bottom of the draft tube through a diffuser. As the diffused air rises in the draft tube, it causes an upward flow. The design of the draft tube ensures continuous and complete mixing of oxygen with the wastewater. This allows for the growth of various aerobic organisms that biologically degrade the wastewater contaminants. Gravity causes the organisms to settle back to the bottom of the tank, where they are again drawn back up through the draft tube. The treated clear water remains in the outer chamber. As wastewater enters the aeration chamber, it displaces treated water in the outer chamber. Quiescent conditions in the clarifier allow the digested solids to settle to the bottom of the clarifier where they are returned back to the aeration compartment. The treated affluent flows slowly up through the clarifier and over a weir, which extends around the periphery of the tank. The affluent collects in an outer trough where it discharges through pipe. A scum baffle located inside the overflow weir prevents floating solids from passing over the weir. The treated affluent can then be discharged into the soil, nearby waterways, or even used in irrigation systems depending on your local regulations. Another approach to on-site wastewater treatment is the use of anaerobic technologies. These oxygen-free systems are found most commonly in standard septic systems. While a septic system is a viable alternative in some instances, you must be aware of certain aspects of anaerobic systems that can be cause for concern. Septic systems utilize a process that is dependent on the soil to perform most functions of the actual treatment. There are several issues here which must be addressed before selecting the system that is right for you. You must check with your local regulatory agency to determine if your soil type will even support a septic system in the first place. You must constantly monitor the soil near the leach field to assure that the sediment deposits and the biomat that forms haven't caused the system to fail over time. 
How many people do you know with septic systems that have standing water over their leach fields after a heavy rain? This is one sign of possible system failure. Another critical aspect to consider is the level of the water table on your proposed installation site. Septic systems need a minimum depth requirement, which can be hard to meet in many instances or would require regrading your property to install a mound system. Mound systems are costly and can be unsightly. Depending again on the soil conditions, mounds can be anywhere from 10 to 20 feet wide and are usually 3 to 10 feet tall and 50 feet long. Regulators may allow you to substitute an aiatic system for a mound system if a mound is required by your local regulatory agency. A aiatic system will be considerably less expensive and not so unsightly. Probably the greatest long-term benefit from using an oxygen-based or aerobic system is ease of maintenance. The Niatic treatment system requires only simple, routine service. Its efficient engineering has produced a highly effective treatment system using only one electrical part. All Niatic systems also come with failure alarms which notify you of any system failure. In most septic systems, common indications of a failed system are either standing water over the leach field, backed up toilets, foul odors, or even the presence of dangerous contaminants in the water supply. Then it's too late. You can imagine the peace of mind that comes with owning a Niatic system. The design requirements for any on-site wastewater treatment system are usually set by local code. The site conditions are inspected and a soil test is performed to evaluate and determine the specific system requirements. Site plans and treatment system details are then drawn up to acquire the appropriate permits and plans are developed for the actual installation. As with any in-ground system, excavation is the first step in installation. Another advantage with the Niatic system is the limited excavation needed to situate the tank properly. Safer work conditions and quicker installation times are the immediate result, and the backfilling process becomes the only critical step in the installation. The tank must be kept level during backfilling to operate at its optimum level of performance. Throughout the entire installation process, there is less wear and tear on your yard and the areas needed to clean up after the contractor is gone are minimal. The next step is to install the electrical component, the compressor. There are a few options available in placing the compressor, so be sure to check with your manufacturer to determine the best place for your specific system. Because of the efficiency of the Niatic system, the compactness of the components, and the high quality of the affluent discharge from the system, Niatic wastewater treatment plants can be installed in a wide range of unusual site conditions. Conditions that are otherwise impossible for septic systems are suitable for Niatic. Site conditions include steep slopes, heavily wooded lots, and lots composed of sand, clay, or even rock. Depending on your local regulations, there are several different methods available to you for discharging the treated wastewater. Common types of disposal include soil absorption systems which involve minimal amounts of trenching, pipe location, gravel, and backfilling. Local regulators may allow for reduced sizes because of the affluent quality. Pressurized distribution systems which may or may not include gravel-filled drain fields and drip irrigation systems which allow for nutrient removal, low discharge rates, and water recycling. Other methods of wastewater discharge include spray irrigation, pressurized dosing systems, gravity flow, and direct discharge. An optional component for the Niatic system is a disinfecting unit 
which disinfects the treated water even after the aerobic treatment has removed at least 99% of the pathogens. Chlorinating and ultraviolet light disinfecting units are also available. Every NIATIC system includes a two-year service contract. An authorized and trained distributor representative will provide on-site operational inspection and maintenance every six months for the life of the service contract. Service contracts can be extended for as long as you own your home to ensure lasting performance and peace of mind. For more than 30 years, Niatic products have been a trusted name in the industry. The technology is based upon sound engineering, which has been time-tested. Each unit is designed and installed based upon local regulations and guidelines and serviced by local factory authorized and trained dealers. Our authorized and trained distributors will work with you to select a system design that is perfect for your site and for your needs. Niatic Wastewater Treatment Systems. A division of Consolidated Treatment Systems. Let our technologies work for you.